I'm sorry this video is uh, full of old footage but it's taken me a while just to get it all together so uh, this will be my documentation on making and designing a stained glass window. I hope you enjoy the video, uh, let's just crack on right into it. So the first thing I did was make a template of the arches that I was going to put these windows in. Now it's probably the easiest just to trace the edges because I noticed with all three of the windows they were actually slightly different size which made it a little bit more tricky. Um, but after I did that I drew up a design, a smaller version and I did four copies of it so that I could do four variations of a design for the people of the church to choose which one they wanted. So for these drawings I decided to use the chameleon markers. Um, they give like this really nice gradient effect like you would when you're looking at a stained glass window. Um, but basically I just wanted to explain some of the background for me to be actually able to do this stained glass window. After I did a mural, which I'll link the video for that in the description here, um, I did a mural that went around the church whilst they were having these new building works. And unfortunately, one of the windows that was originally there had to be taken out. So they very kindly offered, um, because the mural was such a success, they very kindly offered me to do a design for the new stained glass window that would be there. So I happily obliged. I thought, wow, that's really incredible. It's something I've never done before. Um, so I took it on. I like Pizza Hut. I used to like Pizza Hut. Around the time, I also used to like uh, my Game Boy Cover. What are you saying? Huh? What are you saying? It's old to like Pizza Hut. Yes. Rude. Ultimately number four was the winner so I decided to bring this to the stained glass shop called the Glass Studio. Um, they were excellent there, they said the design was fine so we got to work cutting the glass pieces. So I didn't manage to actually get any footage of the first part of the process but basically what we did was uh, make a large version of my design so that's what's on the paper underneath and then on the top you cut all of the glass pieces and you do this with like a rotating like wheel glass cutting device doohickey um, <laughs> I don't actually know what it's called and um, and you have to hold it at a certain angle and then you kind of draw the line it can do curves or it can do straight wh whichever and then um, basically all you do is you fit it all together like a big jigsaw piece um, I didn't do much of the glass cutting because I sucked at it so I left that to the experts um, but then after that you move on to the lead. So in between each piece that you've done you use these little nails and they go through this tiny little device thing which helps hold the glass up from the table so that um, they should slop together really well because the lead has got this little groove that you can put the glass into. Then if you need to curve like any of the pieces of lead, you don't do it with your hands because you won't get a very accurate kind of representation. You get these uh, plastic wheels and you get the right size wheel for the curve that you're trying to make and then you basically slot it into the groove that's in the lead and roll it over and then that's how you get the curve. Then all that's left to do is cut it to size and the lead is very soft as you can see you can just use a chisel or something and just basically put some pressure on it and it will cut the lead and uh, you basically do this from kind of one corner upwards and until you finish it. Thank you. 
Then you move on to the soldering. Um, I had a little go at this. I was much better at actually doing the lead part of it. That was quite nice. It didn't involve as much danger as the other aspects of stained glass. Um, but um, so basically you're just going to be soldering all of the little pieces together making sure that you get any little gaps there might be between the lead the key is to make sure that you don't miss any pieces because when you come to lift it and turn it over uh, little pieces of glass can fall out and obviously that's nerve-wracking so what you want to do is make sure that you go from top to bottom again making sure you've got all the little pieces in Um, after that, there's a process that I didn't actually see, but it's kind of like rubbing another kind of material over it, and this is what makes the lead go like a sort of typical stained glass window colour, that kind of dark black metallic colour, and um, and that goes on on this light box, uh, which is really flashy, so I'm sorry about that. Next process is the installation. So what you do is you just hold up the glass um, or the stained glass window against the frame and just check where it might be overlapping a little bit and it's basically a lot of tapping it into place um, trimming off edges and things like that Once you have got it so that it's fitting nice and snug, they use this kind of dark sort of putty, um, which is like some kind of adhesive, I think, and that sticks the glass into the frame um, so that it's nice and solid. And um, then, very last thing, um, possibly another piece of wood will go on over the top just so that you can't see the kind of raw edges. And here is the finished piece and I'm so so happy with it um, it's been such a great opportunity to be able to design something that's going to stay in a church for like a pretty long time um, and I was so happy to work with Ethan and Ash and I'm sorry I didn't catch the name of the guy that helped install um, but they work at the um, glass studio in South End. so if you want to follow them on Instagram they've got some beautiful designs on there and yeah they did a fantastic job and I was so happy that I got to have a go as well because I've always wanted to have a go at something like this so thank you so much and thank you for watching and supporting the channel um, if you ever want a stained glass window definitely give them a call um, they're awesome 
and yeah thanks for watching have a good day bye